Hey Sally, you awake yet? A loud voice and a banging noise woke her up. Groggily, she looked around the room, trying to remember where she was. Instead of huddling next to a building, Sally saw that she was laying on top of a comfortable mattress with an incredibly fluffy blanket wrapped around her. She was inside of a room that was decorated in things that she was interested in. There were posters of her idols hanging on the walls. Her favorite poster had the Lady Brittany leaning against one of her massive swords while wearing a cute outfit. Sally remembered the first time she was able to see the Lady Brittany. She was walking around the city with those who work inside the stronghold. Later that day, Lady Brittany announced that the master of the city was going to be building a museum to display artwork that was created by those living in the city. Sally thought it was so amazing how the lady was able to create beautiful works of art while also being so strong. A couple of months back, Sally got to watch the Lady Brittany and the Lady Queen spar each other inside of the education district, where there were buildings which allowed students to fight one another in front of an audience. The way the two of them fought was like watching a dance, where they anticipated the other encountered. Lady Brittany wore heavy, full-bodied armor and used a large sword as a weapon. Lady Queen had light armor and used a bladed whip. Sally wished that she could have something that allowed her to watch that scene over and over again. Someday, Sally knew that she would someday be as strong as Lady Brittany and could be relied upon to help defend the city. Sally, we're going to get into trouble if we don't get to morning practice on time. The voice brought her back from her thoughts. Trying to get the sleep out of her eyes, Sally walked over to the door and opened it to see her friend standing there looking agitated. Kim, we have plenty of time before morning practices begin. You worry too much. Sally sighed and let Kim into her apartment. You're not even ready, Kim said a little hysterically. This happens every time. You're never ready so we end up having to run all the way to the training center. She tried to reason with Sally, who was heading back to her room to get ready. Opening her closet, Sally looked at the various outfits she now owned. Many of the outfits were for her school-related activities, though there was a growing number that she had just because they looked cute on her. Choosing a training outfit, she laid it on the bed before going back and grabbing her school uniform. Her training gear was composed of light leather armor, a white shirt, and pants. The shirt had a five-pointed star in front of a crescent moon with the words Fidelitas Venus Diamond Auxilium beneath it. Both their training gear and uniforms had this over her left breast, giving her the sense that she belonged to something. Taking off both towels, Sally started to put on her training uniform. The uniform was very empowering, different from when she was living on the street. From her desk, she grabbed the storage ring that's given to all citizens and placed the school uniform inside of it. Leaving her room, Sally saw Kim sitting on the couch and looking through her magazines she had placed on the coffee table. She discovered these magazines while roaming the shopping district and finding a store that had posters and other fan-related items. The magazines went over the latest fashion trends and had little pictures of famous people living in the city. There was also news of various events that were going on, which meant that there were always stuff going on for people to enjoy. Looking through the magazines, she saw that they had each of the floor protectors, what was considered to be the highest position next to the master in the city, posing for photos. There was one magazine that was for fans of Lady Brittany, so Sally made sure to purchase several posters and a magazine. When Kim looked up and saw her already, she said, This time we may arrive a little early. Why don't we stop by and grab some food before heading towards the education district? Sally commented to Kim as she locked her door. 
They walked down the street and headed towards one of the stores that served quick foods, often eaten by students on their way to school. During breakfast, they got something called a breakfast burrito, which was an unleavened flatbread made out of flour. The inside was filled with scrambled eggs, sausage, peppers, and spicy tomatoes, all rolled up with the bread. It was very convenient to carry around and eat on the go. You know, if you keep eating that in the morning, you're going to end up gaining weight. Kim teased her. Rolling her eyes, Sally said, "With the amount of those teachers train us, I don't think I have to worry about gaining weight. Also." The teachers say that we need to eat more protein to gain muscle. She stuck her tongue out at Kim. As they walked, they saw some of their classmates who were also in their club. They waved at them and headed towards them. What's going on? Is the world ending? Seeing Sally arrive at training on time? Kate, a cat girl around Sally's age with blonde hair, exclaimed with mock surprise. Due to arriving at the city at around the same time, Kate was in almost all of Sally's classes. The city didn't only divide people based on age, but also when they arrived into the city. This meant that not all the schools started at the same time. There were plans to eventually coordinate the different buildings so that they all began the year at the same time, but currently those were in discussions. I think it's good that Sally is going to be on time, so that we don't have to do extra laps around the training grounds. Ashley, a tall brunette, who was a year ahead of Kate, Kim, and Sally, said. Despite looking tomboyish, she had a very feminine figure, which she often tried to play down. Many girls in the class had a crush on Ashley and would follow her around. As they talked about various topics, related to club activities. School and plans after school, they arrived at the entrance to the education district. At the entrance, Ashley was dragged away by her underclassmates, who were also part of the club. She looked back at them with pleading eyes, but they mercilessly ignored her and wished Ashley luck. The training grounds were near the city walls, which was convenient to aim at when practicing magic. Near the training grounds, there was a relatively large building where various sports clubs could weightlift and get ready for class, or when they headed home. Having this type of environment was new for Sally, being able to train and rest in a high-grade environment. Each of the genders had different training grounds, and at the end of the year, there was a competition among them. Though she always thought that boys were stronger than girls. Sally learned that it wasn't always strength that led to victory. Using the abilities she developed while living off the streets, Sally was successful at tricking opponents. She wished that she was more like her idol, but she learned that she just didn't have the massive power that Lady Brittany had. Though she wasn't powerful, Sally did learn that she had an affinity for shadow magic as Lady Brittany. Using her abilities, she was able to control a person's shadow and also pull them inside the shadows. Inside there, Sally could travel between locations, making her very powerful at night. Sally's favorite weapon was the chain and sickle, where she could sneak behind an opponent and wrap them up before going in for the finishing move. She also became good at using projectiles, such as daggers. Chakrams and bow and arrows. Using her skills, she would often sneak up on classmates and scare them. Even the upper classmates couldn't detect her, though their magical skills were stronger than hers.